Hey guys, Ronin Man back. Today we're checking out My Chemical Romance. I've been a fan for a long time uh, for these guys. However, at the same time, I don't really spend an amazing amount of time checking out every single song they have. I'm kind of more of like just the songs that, you know, had singles or had music videos maybe. I imagine there's actually quite a bit of My Chemical Romance that I haven't listened to a whole lot of. So there are hits from the first album, you know, I've, I've heard that all that stuff, you know, um, Black Parade, just a couple of the songs maybe. Um, but this is one I haven't heard, which is the Foundations of Decay. But, um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and check this one out and see what it's all about. I wonder what's on the walls here. Those, they look like bugs, kind of. A good bass riff. Nice. Sorry, we're gonna do pauses here because I noticed that this is Warner Brothers that we're messing with here and they are sticklers for uh, copyright issues and whatnot. So um, uh, I'll try to keep the pauses at a minimum. Great chorus. I love that uh, we are at an ascent with the, the chord progression. And yeah, Gerard is great with his vocals and he's really good at uh, portraying like drama in his music it's uh, it almost has like a cinematic feeling to it as well the chorus is just extremely catchy Okay. 
I'm going to, I'm going to back up a little bit too. Um, so don't worry. Um, the, the incorporations of the screams and this whole breakdown. And I, I love songs when they do this, when it's just like, da 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 And it, it goes along with the drums, everybody's synchronized and they're just trying to be as powerful as they can at the same time. It's badass. So we're going to go back here a little bit here. Right back into the chorus. Love those little leads there. Okay, speeding up now. I was kind of expecting them to go back into that breakdown. That would have been fucking sick. try to just end it there sorry for the pauses guys i usually don't pause during reactions because i kind of i don't like those type of reactions myself but but i have um had warner brothers kind of stick it to me um with the, the the copyright claims and stuff like that that might be like that might be my second favorite uh mcr song uh the ghost of you is my favorite because they have they have like a, a different kind of breakdown in that song but i love that one because to me that was that was to me, it totally gives me like cinematic vibes and, and all that stuff. So this is kind of like a different version of that for me. The verse is super catchy. You, you definitely know when you're writing a song and you have a really kind of catchy verse that flows. And I'm talking instrumentally. So some of you maybe uh, I play guitar. I'm a musician myself. Um, I don't do lyrics. So lyrics to me kind of come secondary. So I don't really know a single word that he just said uh, throughout that whole song, it didn't matter to me because um, instrumentally everything was there. So that's what I pay attention to is uh, the instruments first. If you can get me with the instruments, it doesn't matter what you say to me um, lyrically. So the verse is very catchy. It flows. It's got a bit of a bounce to it. Uh, and I think if I were writing this song and we achieved that right away, i had been like, great, this song's going to be kick-ass, even though there's the... The, the task of creating a chorus, you then at least think to yourself, okay, so whatever the chorus is, it needs to kind of be better than this, um, it, or at least needs to be good in a different way instead of us just milking this chord progression to death on the verse here. And definitely I think Gerard came in, you know, it came in and he, he definitely did his job, especially with that chorus. Um, that's one thing I do appreciate about his vocals, that if I'm not if I can't pay attention to what he's saying, I can at least pay attention to how he's singing it and the notes that he's singing because his he has a very musical voice as well in that he could be, you could translate his voice into another guitar and that's really kind of how you make space for vocalists, especially ones that are, that, that can really do well with, uh, with uh, singing different variations and can really just add to it musically. And he, he just adds another dynamic to what's already going on. How old is this song anyway? May 12th. This is, is this a new song? 
Maybe that's why I haven't heard it. May 12th. I mean, it's been out for a little bit, but still, it's this year. I didn't even know they were making new music, to be honest. Like, I know they're on tour, but I just figured they're just playing, like, old songs. That's close uh, my finger is to the pulse. So, um, if, yeah, if they're, if they're making new songs, maybe there's more for me to check out. Awesome song. Love it. Guys, feel free to let me know if there's anything else you want me to check out. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you next time.